hello what's up ali here and uh, today we are going uh, to show you the uh, easiest and fastest way to jailbreak all uh, ps3 using hand so uh, on this method that uh, you can jailbreak any model of the ps3 on any firmware but we are going to use right now the latest uh, firmware which is 4.90 so it's up to you if uh, you want uh, to uh, update to the latest firmware but uh, since uh, there are no longer any um, reason to go uh, to stay on the lower firmware i strongly recommend to just update to the latest firmware and even if you are not yet familiar with the whole process just follow the video exactly as what we are going to show you and i can assure that it's going to be fast safe and easy so let us start with the requirements first is that we are going to need the usb thumb drive we are going to need the update file and also we are going to need an internet connection all of the links that we are going to need are in our description so please go ahead and check it as well and first let us go ahead and prepare our update first is we'll have to make sure that our usb thumb drive is on fast 32 format so just right click and click on properties and check the file system it should say here fast 32 on the root of the hard drive create a folder naming ps3 and inside the folder, create a folder naming update, all capitalized. And inside this folder, we are going to place the update file on this exact file name. So let us show you where we can download the 4.90 hybrid firmware. The link can be found on our description. So just open the link and click on this part to download the file. And just download the file inside the update folder and we should be ready with the update so if you are getting any issues whatsoever with regards to the update i will leave a link on our description of a video where we discuss every possible issues that you can encounter when updating your ps3 and how we can fix them let us go ahead now and insert this usb to our ps3 on the ps3 first we'll have to make sure that it can detect our usb by going to the photos or the music or the videos make sure that you can see here the usb device and once you are good on that part just go to the settings on the uppermost part of the settings go to the system update then update via system storage here you will see the update file inside the usb thumb drive again if you are getting any issues do check the video where we uh, discuss thoroughly how we can fix any possible issues we can encounter when updating our ps3 so if your ps3 can detect the update file just click on ok or yes and just follow the whole process and your ps3 should be ready for the next step and uh, by the way at the end of the video we are going to show you one important tip that uh, you will definitely need for any jailbroken ps3 so be sure to stick around until the end of this video now once you are done with the update um, it is highly advisable to um, do the update twice before we proceed to the whole jailbreak process but if you are already satisfied next is we have uh, to prepare our network connection we have to be connected to the internet to be able to install hand or jailbreak our ps3 so just go to the settings or just go to the network settings internet connection settings and once we are done with the network settings, we can now go ahead and go to the browser. And here on the internet browser, we'll just have uh, to set other settings as well. So just press triangle, tools, confirm browser close. This should be set to off. Then press triangle again. Home page, use blank, then click on OK. Then uh, delete all of uh, the deletes on your, on your PS3. So delete cookies, search history, cache and authentication information after that just leave the internet browser and go to the browser again now press start and enter this following address well uh, there are some multiple cases on the past years where this host was attacked so if ever you are unable to get to this host i will also leave a link on our description for the alternate address that we can use to install HANA. So for now, since this one is up and running, let's go ahead and use this main website or this main host. Then on the upper tab, choose PS3 HAN, then PS3 HAN installer. So 
it is highly advisable to go back to this page and close this window so just uh, press and hold the cancel button on your dual shock 3. from here you can go ahead and uh, click on auto install hand but if you're having some issues or hard time installing hand this is what we can do first just uh, leave the browser again enter the browser delete all information or delete all internet information again then access the hand installer from your history so go to the history tab and click on ps3 hand auto installer this should greatly improve the success rate of installing hand After it succeeds, the PS3 will automatically download the necessary files to complete the hand. And after that, the PS3 will automatically restart. And just wait for it to restart. After it restarts, we can now go ahead and activate the hand on the main menu of the PS3. So just click on the enable hand and this should install a hand now if you get any errors here just uh, go ahead and restart the ps3 or reactivate the hand again and from here we are almost done all we have to do is just uh, install all of the necessary files that we need uh, to complete our jailbreak for the multiman just open the link on our description and uh, click on this part to download uh, the latest version and also about the tip that i'm about to share let us also go ahead and download the webman Again, open the link on our description and click on this part to download the latest version. And once we have all of the files ready, let's go ahead and go back to our PS3. On the PS3, after we activate the head, go to the package manager, install package files, go to the standard and install the multiman and the webman. The webman is our game manager. So we can install the games using this application. And also if you are using external hard drive, you can access all of your games using Multiman. Next is the Webman. The Webman is an application where you can do a lot of stuff on your PS3. With Webman, you can load some classics. You can also adjust the fan speed, which is very essential to your PS3 to prevent overheating and uh, you can also uh, monitor the uh, temperature of your ps3 this is one of the best applications that your ps3 cannot miss so if ever you are just new with the jailbreak scene don't forget to install webman later i will go ahead and show you how we can uh, change the fan speed of our ps3 using webman and after installing the webman just click on the file and this will install the whole application now you would notice that uh, every time you enable your fan, uh, you will hear your fan. That means that you have increased uh, the fan speed. And to be able to change that, just go to the webman, webman setup. Here you can change and control your webman. And for me, it is advisable to just set it to auto and use a uh, 64. This will make sure that webman will maintain the temperature of your PS3 below 64. And once you are satisfied, just click on save. And on the main menu, just press and hold the select and start button at the same time. And you will see uh, um, this notification. This will show the current temperature of your PS3. And after that, uh, you can go ahead and just delete this application. And with that, congratulations, you have uh, successfully jailbroken your PS3. We are using the hand or the homebrew enabler. This is not the complete jailbreak because what I'm using right now is the Super Slim which is not compatible to the jailbreak or to the uh, CFW. But I will also leave a link on our description how we can install CFW the easiest and fastest way. And after jailbreaking, you can go ahead now and install games on your PS3. So uh, this will be it. Uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, or you have encountered some issues, uh, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, this is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.